Nathan Cowley, thanks for speaking to us. Now, you're defending your WBO light heavyweight title this weekend against Carpency. In Cardiff, give us some insight into how training's been going over the last few weeks. Training's gone very well. Uh, good training camp for this fight. Long, long training camp. Um, and preparation's been good for, for, for a southpaw as well. I've had good southpaw sparring. Just ready to fight now, looking forward to it. Carpency's never been stopped in his professional career. Obviously, you're looking for a win, but is it the stoppage that you're really after? That would be a bonus if if I can uh, get the stoppage against Carpence, who's a tough, who's a who's a tough fight there. He's, he's never been stopped. He's had 24 fights, so he's a tough guy, um, strong, um, and he's had plenty of experience. He's sparred all the best guys, you know, Roy Jones Jr. Shumanov and, and all those guys. So he, he is experienced. Um, uh, it'll be a bonus if I if I can get the stoppage. But most importantly, it's uh, it's important that I remain world champion and, and get the win. Like you say in recent reports, you know he has been talking about his training and sparring with the likes of Shumanov and Roy Jones. How much of a concern is that for you? It's, it's, it's not a concern because at, at this level, at world title level, um, in a world title fight, the, these opponents are going to be good. You know, they, they, they're fighting for the world title. They're going to give it everything. They're going to give it 100%. So the most important thing is that you, you concentrate on, on what you are good at um, and, and what you can improve on and, and take that to the fight. And, and that's what I've done for this fight. You know, regardless of who I'm fighting, I've just trained to the best I can, try to improve myself, and uh, and like I said, win win the win the fight. And he is coming into this fight as the underdog. He's got nothing to lose. So do you see that as a riskier opponent for you? Uh, potentially, it's a potential danger man because everybody expects expects you to win this fight, and it's easy to become complacent. Um, but I've I've made sure it's the opposite. I've tried making sure I've trained better, I've trained harder, um, I've been mentally more focused. Looking at the future fights ahead as well, if you do get the win you're looking for this weekend, a lot of talks being um, mentioned about Schumann, about Cloud. We've got Hopkins and Dawson with the rematch in April. Is that still the fight that you're eyeing up at the moment, looking for the winner for a possible summer showdown? Yeah, I think so. I think provided we, we come through this fight with no slip-ups, um, definitely a unification fight is, is what I'm what I'm looking for. Um, Babit Shumanov, Travoris Cloud, I would definitely like one of those guys. And to Chad Dawson, Bernard Hopkins, perhaps that's a fight you can look for uh, towards the back end of 2012. You know, they're the number one guys in the division and you just work towards those guys. Also, we have to get your thoughts on Klitschko and Chisora. Now, do you think Chisora actually proved to some people that he went in then he did show heart? You know, he, some people were doubting his capabilities. Do you think he actually proved them wrong with his performance? Um, yeah, yeah, I think a lot of people expected uh, Vitali to to knock out Derek Chisora. Um, I actually thought the fight would have gone to points. You know, Derek's a, a tough fit heavyweight. Um, you know, he's a, he's a good character for the sport. Unfortunately, he got caught up in the heat of the moment at the press conference. What were your thoughts on all of that? But it's not great for British boxing. Um, you know, it leaves it tarnishes the sport. Um, you know, it's it's one thing having hype at the press conference, but then going over the top and taking it one step too far. You know, it's out of hand. But like I said, a small punishment, and I'm sure you know the guys will learn their lesson. But Overall, I think you know Derek. He's a, he's a good character for the sport. Um, you know, he always brings something something different. Um, and it'd be a pity to you know to condemn over condemn him for for that incident. And hopefully, we can just forget that now and and get on with 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 a great sport. Well, good luck for this weekend, then. Thank you. Thank you. Cheers.